Hello everybody, welcome back to our farm here in America. So, from the thumbnail, I've said more problems on here. It's not a massive problem, but the horse paddock. Um, obviously the storyline is that Jade was doing the horse riding, but in reality it's me that has to do it. We all know that. That's just the storyline. So I rode the horses. I actually did, in fact, forget to ride them before I skipped through onto this day. But they are 100% ridden for today. So their fitness has gone down a little bit because I missed yesterday's riding. But I got the first horse back in the pen and there was no so-and-so is back in the stable and I thought oh no here we go another problem on this map and I was tearing my hair out because um <laughs> I am enjoying it on here but after our two restarts I'm kind of at the end of my tether so I am seriously in two minds of just giving up on this series but I don't really want to do that because I know some of you guys are enjoying it you've commented and let me know that you are so I, again i'd like to know your thoughts on it should we just carry on it's not a huge problem because there what it is is there is a delay in having that message come up about the horses so if you are playing on this map or you've given up on this map because of the horse paddock it does work, it's just quite a bit of a delay, so you return the horse back to the pen and just forget about it for a minute, carry on doing your daily chores and then all of a sudden you'll get the message appear that they're back in the stable. And obviously then you need to go over and clean them or whatnot. But yeah, but at least it is kind of working, but it's not working how it should be. So. I guess we'll just carry on. The only other thing I was thinking is that area over there by the old silo. Well, I've said before a few episodes back, I think now, about maybe clearing that area and putting a placeable down. The only other thing was I thought maybe we could move the horses from that paddock and put a just a small one down. I think there's a pen in Mod Hub. That only holds four horses because I don't want too many horses on it because they take up quite a lot of time on console for riding because we haven't got the horse helper mod. But anyway, let me know on your thoughts. I don't like I say I don't want to just abandon the series. I've never done that. I know I've I'm still fairly new to YouTube. I've only done four series so I've got four go uh, three currently going active Oak Hill I did I closed that up and wrapped that series up to come here on this map but we've had nothing but hassle since we came here two restarts now problem with the horse paddock so I don't know what else is going to go wrong but we'll carry on and but I would like to know your thoughts on whether we should just crack on or move on elsewhere because there is obviously loads of maps out there I could choose one and go again somewhere else but our triticow and our carrots are ready to harvest the prices overnight for the carrots tanked a bit and they are still going down so we'll probably harvest them and keep hold of them I expect for a bit because I don't think that's a very good price I mean I would assume they're on the same lines as onions and tomato and both of those are in the 400s on some of them so I think we will keep hold of the carrots the triticale is at a pretty good price I would say at animal market grains because I think again that is like um, similar to wheat triticale 
from what I can gather. So 737 to me isn't a bad price because if we look at wheat and barley, which are on those lines, we've got wheat there at 774 and barley's, you know, there's three there and a 600. So we'll probably sell the triticale straight away. But I am going to harvest the carrots, as you can see, very dark orange there. I'm going to harvest the carrots first, and yeah, we'll go from there. Probably have to use the truck to unload the harvester, but we are going to get hit with a hefty leasing fine because we're going to have to lease the um, root crop harvester that's been modded in for this map and use the header for carrots because it's specific to each crop type. There's one for onions and tomatoes. So we'll head up to the shop. And it's pretty similar to the sugar beet harvester. And they are expensive to buy and also quite expensive to lease. But we probably should still make a profit. I mean I can imagine we're going to get quite a lot of carrots off of that field. So let's go and see what we can do. So, beet technology. If we go right to the end, there we go. We've got the lizard root harvester. Holds 50,000 litres though, which is pretty cool. But that is going to cost us $25,000 just over to lease. It does look quite funky though, doesn't it? Like a metallic chrome sort of paint job. So we'll just go ahead and lease that. I'm not going to configure it because that's just going to cost us more money. And then we need the header for carrots, which is there. So like I said, we've got tomato, carrot, onion modded in to fit this harvester. So again, that's another 5,000. So we're looking at over 30,000 dollars just to hire this equipment so that's pretty pretty hefty so we well I hope we do make a profit back from this oh and also if I sound a bit dodgy <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold I haven't been feeling that great of late Woke up this morning all shivery and headache and sore throat. And of course this day and age you sort of kind of panic, well not panic but wonder if it's the other thing I'm not even going to mention. But it isn't, it's just, just like a common cold with a bit of sore throat. I think there's quite a bit of, bit of it about over here in the UK probably due to the fact the weather keeps going up and down over here one minute's a bit cold and cloudy and rainy and then all of a sudden we've got a mini heat wave which obviously doesn't help <clears throat> but anyway let's have a little go at these carrots because this is all new to me I'm hoping this is all going to work properly I can't see why it wouldn't So, I presume we need to unfold this bad boy, like so. Turn it on. And off we go. Very nice and modern in here. We'll stay out of cab though, whoa, because I don't want to miss anything like that. We want to get as much as we can. This probably will take a little while, like sugar beets, so I'll just do a little whiz round, a few strips, and then I'll probably maybe do a time lapse or just cut towards the end but like I say I'll get the truck 
over and we're unloading to there because we're going to get quite a lot obviously this is 50,000 litre capacity that's almost what our standard trailer is so we'll definitely use the truck but we are filling up quite quick we've already got 11,000 litres of carrots so it'll be very interesting to see how much money we make from this obviously once we've waited for a good price so if we go down this way and off we go again I think if we stay doing this let's get a full tank so that you guys can see it unloading not that it's really going to be any different to the sugar beets but if we zoom in we've got our carrots on the back look a bit weird don't they and also we must remember to keep some of these carrots back for the horses because they do actually take carrots as part of their diet on this map which is pretty smart and if we're going on let's just double check if we're going on the basis of the oats and the hay which was 8,000 litres I think for two horses if we keep back about 16,000 that should be good to go for quite a while it's only 9% of their diet but I do always try and get the recommended all the recommended um, items for the animal feeds so we're halfway there almost was going to break out into the Bon Jovi song then. probably not a good idea if you've got a sore throat So the triticale looks quite cool, I must admit. I quite like that look, that texture. It's very smart. But even the carrots look cool. You can just about see the little orange tops, the little carrot tops. Yeah, so getting back to what I said earlier about letting me know, I know it might seem like a cop-out of getting out of a series, but it's not that at all. I just, you know, it's it took a lot to set this up twice and then for something else to pop up. And I've, I've seen a few people... Um, not moaning about this map but saying this doesn't work or that's not right and I'll give up with it there's too much wrong with it but I, it is a nice map but I just feel that there is a few issues with it and also you hire workers on here I tried it when I was I think I was doing some off camera work and they start following you see here we've got the diagonal lines where we've seeded because that is instead of seeding the way that you go it kind of does this cross hatch pattern on on the fields and you hire a worker if you hired a worker now on here they go off at an angle and it's like what is going on so it's just things like that so it, you know it's just a little bit disappointing right we're almost full guys I'll try not to bore you too much with carrot harvesting and we're obviously on the wrong side for the lorry the truck 
so we'll probably have to reverse back probably could actually just tip this in the silo couldn't we it's only behind us let's do that guys so pipe out and then I use the truck there we go that unloads very quick wow that's quite impressive right I will get this field done with the carrots and like I say we will keep hold of them and keep our eye on the price and I'll bring you back in when we're kind of almost done and then we'll crack on with the triticale so I'll see you in a bit guys right we've got this tiny strip left hopefully it will all fit in this harvester or 84% full how much do you think we got off of this field? We'll find out in a minute. I completely forgot to say at the start as well about the free the fertilising contracts. Um, I did yesterday in game, including the huge one on field 30 I think it was and it was for about $30,000 which is pretty good I'm not sure this map likes this harvester you know look at the you see the black lines glitching out a bit there <laughs> I need to stop moaning this episode don't I I do feel a bit bad about saying all that to you about this map but you know it kind of gets to a point it just it gets you down a little bit and I know I've had a couple of you saying you know you're more patient than I am I would have given up on this map a long time ago but it kind of makes it more harder if it was a personal ga gameplay series then yeah I probably would have finished this map a while ago and just you know add a little bit of fun on it we'll just leave it there I think but because we've got a series running on it it's um it's a bit different right how much did we make on the carrots two hundred and forty seven thousand 355 litres wowzers almost got to the full capacity of our silo so like I say they're still going the best price is still going down at taco food stop so we will keep hold of them and keep our eye on the prices but for now we're going to harvest our triticale I'll probably leave that there and return it a bit later. It's a bit grubby. Hope we don't get charged for a cleaning fee. Could always clean it ourselves. So let's grab our harvester, which is in here. There we go. Should be able to get out okay. Says, there we go, we're out. Right, let's detach that. We'll unfold the harvester. Oh, that's the lime station I'm crashing into. Come on now. Let's get it right. There we go. Unfold that, put the wheels away. Now, where should we start? Let's try and start up in this corner. And 
again we'll do a little bit and then I'll probably do a time lapse I'm just going to try and gauge how much we're going to get off of this whether it's worth just getting the tractor and trailer or using the truck that looks quite smart as well doesn't it and also if I go on cruise control so I can show you I did notice this field with the carrots were on that needs ploughing so we'll have to do that that's another job before we put anything else in there this field however looks perfectly fine we will need to cultivate it though before we put anything else in there because our cedar is not a direct drill so we're already at 34 percent so i think we'll get another full tank i think we'll probably be okay with the tractor and trailer that's going to be 55,000 litres and I wouldn't have thought we're going to get more than that off of here obviously it'd be brilliant if we do now we've got the sign coming up ahead so we need to go around this so that's probably the only sign on this map that you can't knock over <laughs> as you know I knocked the sign down behind us on the other field before so yeah this is 10,000 litre capacity I think our harvester so are we going to get five and a half loads off of this I'm thinking we might actually you know because let's face it we've literally just done two sides of the field uh, field I think we we'll probably need to get the truck just to play it safe whoa, 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 whoa. I've got a terrible habit of doing that I'll tell you what we will do actually we'll grab our tractor and trailer and if it is looking like we gonna go over that 55,000 litres we'll just tip it in the silo and we can just take it out with the truck so let's just get that Although our truck could do with a little bit of a run out. I think it's only been out once and I got it stuck. <laughs> oh no, I tell a lie. Oh. oh. Oh, I've knocked the weight over now, haven't I? Come on. There we go. Yeah, we used the truck for the wood chips, didn't we? Last episode, I believe. Right. Let's go out this way. Put some beacons on. Not that we get any traffic down this way. 
because we are blocking the road with our harvester and we'll try and shimmy along there turn those off I may do this one as a time lapse or if it feels like it's getting too much I might just cut again to us almost finished and we'll find out how much we've got but we are definitely going to sell this crop and we're going to be going to Animal Market Grange which I think is down the south isn't it? Yes. We've definitely been there before. That's pretty good. That's not too far to go. Straight down there. So that'd be smart to do that. We will back the trailer and tractor out of the way. Probably about there. Jump back in this bad boy. And off we go again for round two. So we've got this little bit left to do. Trailer's looking almost full, so hopefully it'll all go in there. And as you saw, probably, <laughs> we did pretty much a full lap before I suddenly realised we should be probably getting a straw swath off of this crop. So I didn't have straw swath enabled, which was a bit annoying. I was going to leave it off but then I thought well no we might as well pick some up we can always tip a little bit into our silo although I think we have actually got a couple of bells still over at the horse paddock so we're not in desperate need for um, straw so we could sell this off as well what I'll do is I'm going to do that, turn the harvester off, because then we can actually see a little bit better. Oh, I'm not even sure this, this isn't all going to fit in here, is it? So, you've messed up there, Snowy. I don't think it's going to quite fit. 
means we'll have to tip it in our silo and then get the truck. <laughs> Which is a little bit annoying. The tractor is actually struggling as well with this. That probably could be our next aim to upgrade the tractor. I was obviously thinking of another field with the one next door being probably ideal. I mean, it doesn't have to be right next to our farm, but it would make sense instead of having to travel all around the map to get to our fields. Right, so that's in there. Let's swing round. We should be able to fit round the back. We'll stop that there. And we'll swap for the truck. Open the cover. Seems a bit overkill now for this, but... Hey ho, so Triticale, hopefully it'll be here somewhere. Start loading up. And we'll just double check. Yeah, so it's definitely Animal Market Grains, which we know has got pretty good access. So we shouldn't get stuck, like I did last time. Although I've probably cursed it now by saying that so let's go over to the harvester and we'll take whatever's left in there Come on, can we get over 60? Ah, not quite. 58,669. That is still a pretty good amount. Let's do a little bit of in cab driving, shall we? So off we go to Animal Market Grains. Should make a tidy sort of profit from this. And with the carrots, again, as long as we try and sort of remember, look, we spent over 30,000 on leased equipment. But I'm pretty sure, pretty confident, look, we will make back that easily. Because the uh, likes of carrots, onions, tomatoes, I think they're going to be along the lines of sort of potatoes it's quite steep up that ramp to this sail point right triticale let's try and get a decent angle so that you guys can see the money probably about there what are we gonna get Forty-three thousand two hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right, let's get out of here. We'll go back up to our farm. Probably just gonna pick up the straw 
in a loading wagon, I'm not going to mess around bailing. So, and again, I don't think at the minute it warrants buying a loading wagon. So we'll probably lease one. And I think if we do that now, then that is another job done and out the way. And that field then is almost ready to go to be cultivated. There's Jack, good boy. So, we need a loading wagon, so we're going to have to take our tractor up to the shop. The root crop harvester will have to stay there for a second. We'll probably have to move that harvester as well. Some beacons going. We get ourselves a nice capacity for the loading wagon. Hopefully, it all should fit in, but we do get quite a lot of straw. And our pickup is still here, that's okay because when we return the root crop harvester, we've got a ride home. So, loading wagons. What have we got? Something that's quite decent size. 56, 56 and a half. Pretty sure I've got a modded in. It's that fella for 56,000. What's that to lease? 2,850. Because again, this is the this is the other problem we've got because we're not going to get a lot of money off a of straw and there's this guy it's only 35,000 litre capacity but it is cheap very cheap for the amount see that's 35 and that's 100,000 80 do you know what let's just lease this class our um tractors easily going to pull that fourteen hundred dollars we'll go and hook up to that i obviously don't think that we're gonna get everything in there but we'll see have a quick look at the straw prices does that need to unfold yes it does so beacons off Turn on lower pickup and away we should go. I guess what we could do actually as well is just keep tipping into our silo and then at the end we can use our truck because obviously that's got a huge capacity trailer because this is filling up at very fast. We'll get a full load and we will have a quick look. There's a tiny little bit there which I'm going to try and get because I have to. <laughs> the old OCD will kick in otherwise. 
And not only that, we want to make as much money as we can, as always. So, can we get all of this little strip in here? Probably not. tight nah right we've got 35,000 no I don't want to do that straw 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 brilliant the best price is going down right we'll check that when we're ready to sell but we'll tip all this in And then we'll see what we got at the end. Obviously we probably would have had quite a bit more if I'd have realised sooner about turning the straw swath on. But it's done now. It is what it is. But I will get the rest of this straw picked up, tipped in here. And then we'll get the truck and take all of it back out and go and sell it and then I think we might wrap the episode up there so I'll see you shortly guys almost there just this little bit and a tiny strip to our left and we have got well much more that's not good English is it we have got much more <laughs> than our big trailer over there. So, yeah. We'll find out how much is left over. Maybe just leave it in the silo because it might come in handy further down the line for animals. If it's a lot, then I probably will sell it after this episode as well but obviously I will always keep you in the loop and we've also got to return this loading wagon as well so that's two pieces of equipment we've got to return to the store now but for now let's get this out of the way Stop down there. How much straw have we got? 173,399. And our trailer is 120, so we're 53,000 over, which is quite a lot. We don't need all of that straw. But we'll go and sell this load. And then I can always sell the rest later on there we go straw now we need to work out where we're going to go so we might as well this is going to be one of those menus isn't it right tag this up because it won't let us skip on to the bottom one so that is that one so therefore the one underneath which is only one dollar more by the time we get there, it probably will be the same. But I think that is down. No, it's not. They're both up here, aren't they? That's over there. Um, I'm not worried, really. I think this one is better access than that one. Because I'm pretty sure you've got to go for a gate there and then try and turn around and back in. So we probably will go up here. So we need to get on the freeway, come up just past the taco food store, across there, and then we'll go up straight up there. It should be there, so pretty straightforward. We'll put the cover back over, just so it doesn't blow all over the road, because we are considerate like that. I think we'll stay out cab for this. Just let everyone know we're coming out. <laughs> I 
I did notice earlier we're probably gonna have to give our tractor a bit of fuel because it's getting a little bit low not drastically low but low enough to start thinking about filling her up so past the shot I think it's the left turn and after this white barn because the taco store is just there now so yeah we want to be going let's put the old indicators on look they do work I do use them sometimes the trains just gone past so sh we should be okay turn the old indicators off and then it's that road on the angle over there just make sure no one's coming there's a car coming there but we should beat them easily so it should be just up here on the left I believe it's this little bit here. So we've got the spinnery and it's this fella. So there's no traffic coming, I don't think. So we can kind of block the road a bit. Let's just back in a little bit more realistic instead of just unloading nowhere near the actual pile. Hopefully we'll make a decent amount from this. It's not going to be huge, we know, but technically it is a free product. I just wish I remembered to turn the straw swath on earlier than I did. So $8,000 just over. That is not too bad. And we've probably got a bit more, so 50 yeah, probably about another 3,000 just over. So we easily made the money back on hiring the load and wagon. So I'm happy with that. So I think we will leave it there for that episode. So I hope you have all enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts on this, all of the situations <laughs> that I discussed and moaned about. But yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to smash that bell. Ding-a-ding-a-ding. -a -a -ding, so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. God, my voice, voice is going. Look, that's my throat. <laughs> Stay frosty.